Hey guys, it's Michael. Is your head spinning from all the Primavera P6 settings? Well, I'm clarifying that and clearing up your head. And today we're talking about this P6 setting called Link Budget in At Completion, a project level setting. Warning, don't use this setting. Don't mess with it. Keep it on and don't turn it off. I'm gonna explain why. Okay, let's get into it. Let's head over to the activities tab where I want to review a simple concept with you about durations. So notice I've got a bunch of duration columns up here. I've got original, actual, remaining, and at complete. Now, original duration is your planned estimate. Okay, let's call it, let's call it planned duration or estimate. And actual duration only comes into play when I start to progress this activity. So have a look right now I want to show you that original duration, remaining duration, and at complete all equal the same thing. They all equal 20 days. This activity hasn't started, so that means that the remaining work is equal to what I plan to do. And at the end, at completion, this is going to equal to my plan. So it makes sense that all of these equal each other. I also just want to remind you that when I progress an activity, this calculation changes a little bit. When I start to progress an activity, the actual duration plus the remaining duration equal the at completion duration, and the planned or the original duration comes out of the picture. Okay, so it's important to understand that because when I start playing with this setting, things change. Let's go see what happens. On the projects tab and for this project on the calculations tab, we have this setting, link budget in at completion for not started activities. And also below it, there's two sub settings that are related to it. And I'll explain all of this. Here's what we're gonna do, we're gonna uncheck it. Typically it's checked and it should be checked for all your projects. But what happens if I uncheck it? Let's see. What happens is that that equation where all three of those durations equal each other is unlinked. So I'll show you what happens. My original plan was 20 days, but now I can come and edit the remaining duration and say make it 27 days, and those don't equal each other anymore. Okay. I also want to show you here on activity B that I have the same sort of thing applies to these unit columns these unit fields, budget units, actual units, remaining units at completion. The same sort of thing applies where we would expect them to be equal, um, and now they are uncoupled here as well. So if I edit this to say 180, at completion units gets updated, but budget units doesn't. Okay, so that's what that setting does is it unlinks it. Now, why would I wanna unlink it? Here is why I think they implemented this feature. Let's say this activity was originally planned to be 20 days, but there's a change. There's say a scope change um, on this activity, and I want to revise the planned duration. What you can do is you revise the remaining duration, and you keep the planned duration fixed. So it's a way to keep those original durations kind of fixed and update any remaining durations if an activity has changed. Now remember, this is a change that's happened even before I've started to execute the activity. It's for not, this setting applies to not started activities, which is a bit weird. Here's why I really advise you not to use this setting. Number one, most people don't turn this off. They want that relationship there. And if you uncheck it, it's going to cause a lot of people some confusion. We expect remaining duration and original duration to match. We just expect that. It makes sense for not started activities. If you want to preserve your original um, estimates and make changes, you should be using a real baseline in P6 to do that. Preserve your original estimates in the baseline and update the original duration of your current project and do the comparison to see that there was a change. Don't do it without baselining. That's my recommendation to you. I want to show you 
if we go back to the projects tab too, what these sub um, settings are for. So if you had turned this off and made changes like we did, and I'll just remind you, now we have 27 days here and remaining and 20 days here. Which one do we want to keep if we turn this back on mid project? That's what these sub settings are for. So the first one is to keep original duration values and propagate them. And the second one is to keep remaining duration values and to propagate them backwards. So again, this setting, I don't think it matters which one you pick because I'm advising you not to uncheck and use this setting at all. But let's turn it on and you can see it gives you a little warning that it's gonna rewrite these duration values. Are you okay? Are you sure you wanna do it? And you say yes. And there you go. So I really recommend you leave this on and even audit your current projects to make sure that it is turned on. Use baselines to capture any changes and to compare your current project that may have changed to the original estimate. Hey, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We're updating videos constantly, so make sure you subscribe or check out some of our other videos about P6 settings and all things project controls. Happy planning, I'm Michael.